inspire a lot of people because right now you, you suck yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna get really good really quickly <laughs> um, but you're literally starting from zero What's up guys, so welcome to another YouTube video. We just arrived in Texas about three days ago and I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of training on Ironman prep. So basically, to kick off the day, what we do is, because it's so damn hot down here, uh, my first time training down here, I trained at the wrong time of the day. So what I do is I wake up early, get after it, get all my cardio done, and then I do my weight training in the afternoon. Um, so today we have a 30 minute run in the morning, and then we have a swim as well with Natasha, my Ironman coach, and she's gonna give me tips and tricks uh, to improve my swim. It's gonna be, I heard it's like 60 degrees in like the actual pool that I'm swimming in, so I'm not excited for that, but I am excited to get this run over with, so we're gonna do that, and then, like I said, in the afternoon, um, I'm gonna train, weight train with Nick Bear. Uh, we're gonna add a ch chest workout, so uh, in between that time, also, I'll probably show you guys like some meals that I eat, to like properly refuel for that weight training session in the afternoon. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna walk you guys through my day of Ironman prep, Texas edition. So to kick off the first thing that I do, I wake up, uh, walk out here, throw on some shit, and then I grab a coffee. I don't know where anything is right now because like low key, I just moved in here and I just threw shit around. So uh, I'm gonna grab a coffee. And uh, everything down here is like, is Texas like it has like this Texas twang to it? So like I don't know. This is supposed to have like a different flavor than any other coffee. So we're gonna see how it tastes. All right, so we got our liquid motivation right here. This is like diesel fuel. We're gonna throw this back. Um, I like to start my day with a coffee just to get you know wake the hell up, and then also just get the bowel movements going. Um, so we're gonna have this and then we're gonna jump right into our run. I want to show you guys over here uh, Kind of what the shoes look like. I'm gonna be repping so These are the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2's I like these a lot just because they have a lot of cushion in them. I get tons of questions These do not have a carbon base plate in them. I did that because I only use a carbon base plate when I train for uh, say like an actual race so on the actual race I'll use a carbon base plate these just have tons of cushion in them which help me recover from each run that I do so yeah these are the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2s we're gonna throw these on and get after it all right almost done throwing this back and here we go mmm let's do it All right, so this run, we're gonna base it off. Every, all my runs are based off of heart rate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run at a low heart rate. So should keep it around like 130 to 140 beats per minute. Um, right now it's not hot yet. Like I said, we're running to keep the heart rate low because once the sun gets up, my heart rate just jumps up. So I wake up early. This is how I like to start my day. Um, once you run in the morning, the endorphins just kind of stay with you the rest of the day. And it's just a sick ass way to start. So we're gonna get after it. 30 minute run, GPS is good. Let's do it. So, finished up the 30 minute run. 
extended a little over that. Um, my Garmin watch died, so I don't know the exact pace, but I think we were around like four and a half to five miles. Felt really good. Um, I held about like 130 beats per minute in this heat. As you can tell, it's really freaking hot right now. Um, but after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, um, probably grab a coffee somewhere, um, another caffeine shot, just cause we're sending it today. And uh, also, for those that don't know, I got a videographer in there. His name's Zach, he's behind the camera, he's the goat. So we were trying to film all that running content was on a skateboard with no motor. So we got it done, so uh, shout out to him. And I'm gonna be tagging him in pictures to follow along with the journey and stuff. So that's that. With that being said, I might go back and eat some, but like I said, I'm gonna show you guys what I eat too today, not just how I train as well. So, but probably, probably definitely gonna get a coffee for sure. So kick ass day. All right, so basically what we got here, I'm gonna show you guys my breakfast, what I've been eating since I've been down here. Um, so what I do is I take a muffin, uh, 100 calorie, th these are the 100 calorie ones. Um, I have this for a little light carb source right before I get into my next training session. I don't want something too uh, like calorie, or too hard to digest that like it's gonna have issues on my swim. Cause that's what we're doing next is we're swimming. So I have this like light, English muffin, I'm gonna throw it in the toaster. That's down. Next, what I do is BPN just dropped a birthday cake whey protein, so I'm gonna make some sludge with this. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. And we're also gonna have uh, Zach taste it, and we'll get like, like an honest taste test. And on the English muffin, we're gonna have some apple butter. Uh, this is just something that I like to throw in my English muffin. And then uh, last but not least, they call these the, these are like the, the candy of fruits. Blueberries are gas if you don't like blueberries. You're crazy. I throw these in everything. So we're gonna have sludge, blueberries, almond, or uh, apple butter on some English muffins. And that's gonna be breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product here after I make it. All right, so we got a taste test. I have Zach cooking up the, uh, the birthday cake. So let for me sure. know how it tastes. This is raw. I just saw a 9.5, it's a birthday cake. 9.5, dude, I honestly think it tastes like birthday batter. No, it's, it's, it's really good. good, it's really good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys my breakfast here. It just popped up in the toaster and I'm hungry as shit, so let's dive in. All right, so just had two scoops of BPM whey protein in it. That's what I used to make the sludge. This is the kind of like what the design looks like on the front. And like, if you can see, there's legit sprinkles in this shit. It's so good. Um, and then also what I do next, I'm going to show you guys, uh, I have oat milk, um, and I, this is how I make my sludge. You want to take it nice and easy. So, uh, I learned this from Nick Bear, shout out Nick Bear. You just put a little in at a time and then stir it. Cause if you get too much in there, it just gets like this like weird consistency. Um, so I actually don't know where all my shit is cause I, so I bought this this thing that holds my utensils. It doesn't even fit in my drawer. So like now I have my <laughs> utensils in the closet. So it's just a shit show, but yeah, that's what happens when you move across the country. But yeah, so obviously we gotta add some more to this. It's still a little, you want it to get like pudding. Um, so I'll show you guys. This should be good. Oh yeah, this will be good. It'll be like, it'll look like similar to cake batter. So it's nice and thick. That's what she said. And then after this, we're gonna toss in some blueberries. And uh, run it up. So normally what I do is I'll add uh, 150 grams of blueberries. And the blueberries, you wanna use frozen ones because when you mix them, uh, they like clump in like this and it really just like thickens up the protein. So use frozen blueberries in the sludge and it'll be amazing. So that's the finished product. And then we have one other thing. These are hot. hot. And then um, with this, I'll have some uh, apple butter and this is breakfast. So tablespoon on each. It's only like 20 calories. I don't track this. Um, and yeah, this is like breakfast right here. 
simple and sustainable. Alright, so I'm gonna have to fucking lay off the weights. Shit is tight. What do you think? How tight do you think it is? Nah, yeah, that's pretty fucking tight. <laughs> but the circulation in your right arm. I right? know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a weapon right now. This is actually like, I kind of like it tight. I think because it makes you like better in the water, less resistance. But I'm gonna have to drive in this. So. <laughs> Yeah, this is the outfit, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna swim. Yeah, this is like what I'm wearing. Oh, uh, OTD boy. Yep. Yeah. Right, so we're chilling, sitting out of red light right now, but we are on our way to Barton Springs. I was told it's gonna be pretty cold, as I said before. So we got our wetsuit on, and um, we're gonna swim for like an hour. I don't really know what's gonna happen. I know it's gonna be hard. I swam yesterday, and it was hard. So it's just like anything swimming right now is so foreign to me it's just gonna take time and and we're gonna adapt but it's been rough so right from a run right into a swim um, an hour long with Natasha and then we have a lifting session later with Nick so it's gonna be a kick-ass day like I said but we're just getting started so on our way down to Austin trouble. I don't know, it's still not working. Uh, check out now. Done. Yeah, there you go. I really had a on this Were you telling everyone? Yeah, I was on the camera, everything. The wits would keep you most dry. I'm not gonna sink it. Well, you're just not gonna have in the water right now. Exactly. And then we'll talk about it here all right so I thought I had a wetsuit on this entire time I've been telling you guys a wetsuit this isn't a freaking wetsuit this is a, a biking suit that goes under my wetsuit so we're getting a wetsuit today from Nick but uh, we're just gonna swim in this I look like a complete noob right now um, so this is the outfit and we're gonna we're just gonna get in and, and swim with Natasha. We'll get some clips of of her, you know, explaining everything and talking about the journey. So this is my first time meeting her. And yeah, from now on it's it's foot to the floor. So let's do it. Based on to be honest, I and mean, then once I see you in all three disciplines, then we'll really like dive into the plan as far as just being honest, we're gonna go in here where you are right now and then also um, what work needs to be done for the goals that you have. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I felt okay in the pool at lifetime, but yeah. I think my biggest issue is combining both my legs and my arms at the same time. Yeah. It's like one will work better one time, depending on what I do first. Like if I do the buoy in between my legs, yeah. I notice my arms are better. Yeah. And then if yeah, I, of and then, but if I don't do, like if I do then the kickboard, then my legs are better. So So outside of your legs being straight and kicking up and down, you've got to pull your belly button to your spine at all times, which will bring your, your butt up. Okay. And then your, your head needs to be straight down because if your head is down, the back of you comes up. If your head looks up, the back of you is going to sink. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot, yeah, we have a lot of work ahead of us, but it's all it's good. That's all right, that's all right, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I will say you are kind of where Brad is right now. <laughs> much better. Yeah, much better. I will say you're going to inspire a lot of people because right now you, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to get really good really quickly. <laughs> um, but you're literally starting from zero. Yeah. Yeah.
Remember when um, your head is in the water, yeah. you, you exhale out and it comes through your nose and your mouth. So it's a timing, it's a rhythm to your breathing of blow out and then turn and take your time to breathe. How many shirts do you think I should breathe on? Every second. So if you like to turn to the side, you should breathe every time. Okay. More oxygen, the better. Okay. okay. So I suck in my stomach? Yes, now? absolutely. <laughs> you should feel like you have tension in your core at all times. Okay. It. How you feeling, Nathan? Dude, she said I suck, but she's right. I gotta get better. This is gonna be something that is really hard, but by staying consistent and pushing past the boundaries, we're gonna get it done with the help of Natasha. And uh, yeah, wow, it's cold as shit, too. Uh, my, like I'm, I'm freezing right now. <laughs> that was your best one. Was it? Yeah, by far. I was, I was telling them, I was telling the camera that we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. But I was talking to Nick too yesterday. Yeah. He said like just getting in the pool and, and yeah. focusing on the little things. How do I look? Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like um, dude, I suck at swimming. Look at these guys; they like fish. Dude, you gotta you gotta get a swimsuit. Dude, I know. It's so, kind of badass, like once you like kind of get used to it. No, no, it looks sick. I can't can't imagine oh. swimming two miles though. That's far. Yeah, you're gonna have to swim two fucking miles, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is you. Ready? <laughs> so I think you might go out. Yeah. And I wasn't over exaggerating. Really? That <laughs> no. was that bad. Holy. <laughs> like, sorry, I'm reaching to grab something. Yeah. <laughs> Just think about entering and reaching out. Okay? okay. Lynn. Okay. Good. Well, what yeah. I was telling him, like, uh, the others, uh, you're very coachable. Like, I can actually tell you something and you have really good body awareness to do it. Yeah. So, like, I am fully kind of affirmed or have belief that we're going to get this real quick. So, yeah. Just yeah. based on just the work we've done right now, it's been good. Yeah. So, and then in the pool will be much easier. We'll get some good time. All right. I'll get okay. That. I'm going to... Dude, there's turtles in here. <laughs> Dude. There's fucking turtles. I swear. There's hello. Yeah, there's hello wildlife. Alright, so basically so far what we're doing is we're working on, uh, as Natasha explained, we're working on keeping our arms up, up, up on top of the water because at first when I was swimming I was going like on an angle, like I was coming down like this. So what you want to do is you want to skim the water, like go like this, and extend your arm like she said, and then also keep my hips up, pull my stomach in, and instead of like when I, when I kick with my legs, Making sure my knees aren't bent, keeping my knees and legs straight, and focusing on like kicking with my feet. So we're trying to implement that all right now. Um, and yeah, 
I just need, I can't believe, I still can't believe I'm wearing the wrong suit, dude. I, I really can't believe it. Got the bike suit on in the water, the bikes, though. <laughs> the bike suit in the water. It's, it's actually making it 10 times harder to swim right now because it's that damn tight. So, next time we're in here, it should be easier, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we are heading to HEB. Um, we're gonna go grab some some gains after the swim. So we're gonna refuel for uh, the lifting session. Um, but that's look at that HEB right now. It looks beautiful. You see that shit? We're gonna get some chicken, probably some beef. I need some more beef and some rice. So, oh, and blueberries. We're gonna get some chicken just because. I don't have time. We're gonna go right into a workout after this, so I'm already gonna get it made. So we're gonna get chicken breast. Um, probably get some rice. I gotta show you guys the rice that I use. It's literally the best out there. It tastes amazing. I still have my shit on. I'm freezing right now. Check the pants. Um, but we're gonna get some blueberries. So I like. Like I said, I have to eat the same thing. So as you saw, I use the blueberries in the morning. So, you know, big dad. We don't mess around. Actually, you save money buying like in bulk. So. Yeah. It probably doesn't taste good coconut. Yeah. It's kind of sus. Yeah, Just gonna go with vanilla almond milk. All right, so post run, post swim, back at the crib. We got uh, Zach some chicken. That's what he wanted. The shit looks fire. I was literally sitting in the truck and it smelled so good. Like I'm starving right now. So uh, what I do is I use bone broth. One of the reasons I mix bone broth with my rice I just drizzle a little over there. Uh, what it does is it's full of micronutrients. It helps to like just recovery and um, it's high in lots of micronutrients as I said. So I add that just to give it some more flavor as well as salt because like I'm expending lots of salt on this Ironman prep. So it just helps me get in what I need. Um, it also gives the rice more of like a better texture. So I stir that around. Um, and then what I do is I got some chicken from HEB and we're gonna add, I always eat around seven to eight ounces of chicken. So this is pooled chicken. So we're gonna add about seven ounces, almost there. Seven ounces around with that. And this is the best rice on the market. Um, it's just, it tastes way better than like the Uncle Ben's in my opinion. So this is what I do if I'm on a time crunch. Like I said, we have a workout with Nick. So we're, we're trying to get this all figured out um, and squared away. So now we just drizzle some barbecue sauce on it. Got a little barbecue sauce. And then to top it off, we got some pico de gallo. And I just sprinkle this over the top. Bagel seasoning, and then this is good. this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look immaculate. Look at that. So that is lunch, and then also I'm gonna be picking away at watermelon until I work out. So yeah, that's not good. Ah, uh, <laughs> I didn't think my rice cooker was supposed to do that. What the fuck? We were about to leave, and this is hot. Oh, is my rice? Dude, there's no way I can open that right now. You know how hot that shit is right now? It's <laughs> boiling. <laughs> but I open that, it's just Anyways, we're gonna let that settle. Um, oh, calm down. We're gonna go to the gym. And get, get out of here before that shit blows up. <laughs> Damn, it's good we didn't leave. Yeah, for real, thank God. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, we're leaving now, fuck it. Ah, uh, where's my keys? Damn, where's my keys?
vediamo vediamo that's tough Nick Bear, the OG, I have some shoes to fill. He uh, hooked me up with all of his old Iron Man stuff. So we have the Roka Maverick swimsuit, and uh, we have his pants here. And these are just gonna help me stay afloat, because like you guys saw, I swam in the wrong outfit. Also right here, we have the rear wheel, which is gonna help during race day. I'm only gonna break this out on race day. Um, it's, the, the wheel has no spokes in it, so it's just gonna be extremely aero. And then we also have over here, um, we have a fan. So basically, as you guys saw, um, I've been riding without a fan. I've been getting suggestions. So uh, he gave me his old fan. So I'm gonna use this every time we ride. Uh, but yeah, after this, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I eat to wrap up the video and uh, full day of training on Ironman prep. So let's do it. 